Hey everyone, so this is the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. In honor of that, I decided to do race car nails. Hopefully, I will also get to go to a uh, race very soon, so they will be perfectly appropriate. Um, so let me go ahead and tell you first how I started, and then I'll get into the video. I will say that this video was a pain to do, so parts of it I'll just have uh, myself talking in the video and other parts I'm just going to voice over because it'll just make it easier. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So I started with plain white nails. I had um, uh, white as a base on my previous design, so when I took that design off I just touched up the white. Then I added the red and I wanted to show you how I did that one nail with the three stripes. So I started with the white base coat and then I put a piece of washi tape down the middle of my nail making sure that I really got it pressed down uh, well. Then I added the red paint and the black paint and then peeled off the tape before it fully dried. And that's how I ended up with that one really easy. What would be even easier is if you had color street, you can just cut your color street strips in half and do that um, the same way. Same result, much easier though. Uh, so then I added the black. Uh, here it just it looks great just like this. You could leave it there for a really contemporary look, but I wanted to amp it up. So I'm going to add some racing flames and checkerboard. Here we go. So I have this plate here that's got all of these um, uh, flame, different flames on it. And we're gonna go ahead and put that on the black. So I wanna show you real quick on my test paper here, how my flame looks on white. That looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? So what we're doing is we're taking our colors and we're smearing them together and picking up that ombre and adding it to our stamp our stamping plate. Okay, let's give this a go. My first color is uh, Candy Cane from Maniology. I think this looks more like a candy apple red, so that's why I'm going with this one. Because I think it looks really cool for... It looks more like the old candy apple red that they paint on cars. And this one is my Cabanana from Sally Hansen. It's Insta-Dry. These ones, their Insta-Dry ones work really well with um, stamping too. So let's see what we get here. That's a nice pickup. I'm going to get rid of everything I don't want to transfer. Now let's see what happens to this on black. Clean up my plate. Clean up my tools. I don't have one of my little black um, dentist papers down today, so I'm trying not to get it all over the desk. Let's see what that looked like on black. Not all that impressive, huh? It just kind of disappears. So let's see if we can do a little bit better. So we're going to try a different technique here. This technique, we're going to start with white. And I'm just going with a white stamping polish. That one is Maniology, but just a good white stamping polish. Picking it up. Got to get rid of all that other stuff that picked up too. Get rid of it. We don't want to stamp it. Let's see if we can get this down on here. Okay. So, clean this up. Get everything nice and clean.
So there's our white. Looks pretty good, but we're not going for white. We're going for an ombre. So now we're going to stamp on top of that. Go back in with the red. This red has a little bit of gold in it, um, which is why I don't know if I would have called it candy cane. But anyway. image. Okay. I'm going to have to be perfect. So now this is what we have. We have our white on the black painted with a clear top coat. Okay. And this is what we've tried so far. We tried the stamping just on the black. We tried it over the white. And that's about as good as we got. So let's see if we can take this and do better. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to break out our old friends. The Sharpie marker. So now I'm holding this up so the light doesn't uh, reflect too badly on it. But here... I can go in with my Sharpie and I can add that color and Sharpies come in all different colors these days so you know you can go a little crazy and because the black is darker than all the colors that we're using. I can kind of just scribble it around and not worry about staying inside the lines. So it works pretty well. Now, the reason why I put a clear top coat on top of the white is because if I just put the Sharpie marker on the white, I'd start smearing the, um, the black and the white together. I'd start getting the white nail polish wet and the black polish wet and they would start smearing together. So the top, the clear top coat is what is keeping, uh, is what is giving me the ability to run over the whole thing with the markers and not have to worry about it at all. So that's pretty good, but we want these colors to blur together. So just like we did in the video with the tie-dye, rainbow tie-dye, we're going to get our rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to get it on a detailer, a detailer brush. See how tiny that tip is? Just a tiny little brush. Get some of my rubbing alcohol on it. And I'm going to dab my rubbing alcohol into my color. And you can see that it's reactivating my Sharpie marker and it's going to start blurring them together and giving me that look that I was going for before. So now once this dries, I'm going to hit it with a top coat again. And that is what's going to give us our flames on the nails that we were going for, uh, that we wanted that vibrant um, color in. Okay. Let's put this in action. So I've already done a stamp and I've applied my sticky base coat to my nail. So I'm just gonna show you how it stamps on there. And there you go. Pretty easy. And you're using such a thin layer of paint that it's pretty much instantly dry. It's crazy. So now I'm going in with my Sharpie marker just like I did in the sample. Um, trying to stay close to the area I want to color, but again, if I go outside the lines, it's fine. And then once or after I get these done, I'm going to speed it up a little here for you.
So again, going in with the yellow, trying to match what I did on the first nail. Um, when you're going to ombre colors together, it's usually better that you start with the lighter one and then go darker and darker and darker, just so you don't um, get the darker color on the tip of the lighter marker. So just getting some of that orange in there. And now we'll hit it with the red. Super easy. Okay, so this little cap is full of rubbing alcohol. And there's my detailer br brush again. So just dipping it in the alcohol and applying it to the Sharpie marker. And you can see how it's just starting to rehydrate that marker and spread it around. Notice I went with a much more detailed flame just so you could really see how this plays out. And there we go. That was pretty easy. That alcohol is going to dry in just a few seconds here and then I can put a top coat on top of this and we're done. But we're not done done. Now I got to do my checkerboard. So these thumbs, they need something fancy. So I'm using that one which is more like a checkered flag waving rather than a solid uh, checkerboard. This is a Maniology Black. Can we take a moment to notice how much pigment is in that black? That's amazing. So just picking it up. I'm going to clean my plate and I'm going to apply my sticky base coat. So Maniology Sticky Base Coat is tinted, but you can see that when you apply it, it goes on clear. So even on a white nail, it's going to show up clear. So don't have any hesitations about that um, tinting that they did to it. There is a brand that CVS Pharmacy sells called Paparazzi. They have a Sticky Base Coat too. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but uh, a Sticky Base Coat just gives you a little extra time to mess around. You don't have to be super fast to try and get that stamp onto your nail. So now that it's dried, I'll go ahead and stamp my flag on. And as you can tell already, my fingernail is bigger than the image that I'm stamping. So I can only stamp half my nail with it. If your nails are smaller, this is not going to be a problem for you. Um, and even if your nails are pretty close, you can actually stretch the image as you're stamping uh, just a little bit and, and get it to cover more area. Um, I didn't think that I'd be able to stretch this one far enough to cover the whole nail, so I have to do it in pieces. So now I'm going to take this one, I'm going to try and match up the shapes. And I'll spare you the amount of time it took me, but because my nail is big, I had to stamp a couple of times to piece together the bits I wanted in order to make this work. But there you can see how I used um, just a part of the image and was able to fill in another area. So here we go, all cleaned up. That's what they look like in the end, top coated. Looks pretty good. So 
that's my final image. Off to the races. See you later.